Hi there, it's Miss Jennifer, and we have a mindfulness lesson for you today. And this is what we will be doing. We are going to make some Zen doodles. Now, Zen doodles are very great practice. You can end up making art out of it, but making art out of it is not the point. The point is to access the right side of your brain where you feel a sense of oneness and to relax and not worry. Stay in the moment, stay where your hands are. So let's give it a try. As you notice, all of my little squares are filled with different patterns. Now, I did some similar patterns, big dots, little dots, little dots. And then I did these little round, round things with dots. I did some checkerboards and some stripes. So that's all I have on here. Just variations of different patterns. But you don't really have to overthink it. You don't have to do it ahead of time. Um, if you get good at it, you can make different patterns, that, uh, cards that you want to keep and save. Now we talked a little bit about ink um, in our um, mantra lesson. You're going to use a black pen, a black gel pen, or a black Sharpie. If you're using a black Sharpie, especially if you're, and you know, anytime you want to make this art on a bigger piece, you can. We just started doing the artist trading cards because we have a limited amount of time in our regular classes. So I'm going to use a fine tip Sharpie for my work. Now, when you're working with Zentangles, you do not want to use a pencil. So part of it is just allowing yourself to be free to divide up the space and then fill it with um, patterns. And it can be any pattern, you make it up as you go. So mostly what I'm gonna do today is just draw and we'll listen to the music. I hope that you can hear it, but this might be something that you could do anytime. Say you get mad, you're tired of being at home, you just go put on some music, you can find some on YouTube. And then just relax and do some Zen doodling. So to begin, you take your piece of paper, whatever size, and it is nice to go smaller rather than bigger. And you're going to put four dots at the corners. Now you can just straight line that border. You can do a little zigzag like I did here. It's whatever you want. I'm just going to kind of loop-de-loop it. When you're making your lines with Zentangles, please don't do this. Um, this is a sketchy line, and this is a habit we get into when we're not sure what we want to do. Now, if you are doing a sketch of something like a gesture drawing, that's fine. But we don't want to go like this. We want to just go like this. See, much much better line, right? Same, same thing, but just using a assured line. Don't do a sketchy line. That's a bad habit that we all get into, but try to get rid of it. All right. Boom. Okay. So from here, we're going to do um, what they call strings. So for my strings, I'm just going to, I'm going to come out. I'm going to kind of go radiate out from this side. Now, this is not required that you radiate out. I just thought it might be fun. And I over went there, but that's okay. And I'm going to do this, and then I'll do one more. The main point here is divide up your page so that you don't have any really large sections. Because it's easy to draw a pattern in a small space, but not so easy to draw it in a big space. So, I'm going to try, first of all, I'm going to do some reptile scales. Because I like reptiles, I know, I'm weird. So basically, I'm just going to make some U's. And then I'm going to go in the middle of the U to make another U. Or an N, or however you want to say it, an arch. Now, one thing that's important about your Zen tangles is you do want to go off the side. So you fill the space completely. And allow your pattern to go right off the uh, edge of the section. Yep, looks pretty good. All right, so I think I'll come on over here 
and I'm gonna do another one. I like to do this circle one, and it's really not so much a pattern, it's just filling up the space with circles. And you can vary the size of the circles a little bit. Make it go off the page here a little bit. And this is fun. Now please realize that you do not have to do the ones that I am doing. You can do your own. But, you know, maybe your first one you want to do with me and do what I'm doing. But please don't worry about getting exact on this um, strings because it doesn't really matter. What, what matters is that you break up the space into shapes. And then you fill the shapes with patterns. Wow, I like that one. All right, so I got two that are kind of circular, so maybe I'm gonna do something different next. Um, I know, I'll do something star-like. And you can make up any pattern you want. It does not matter. And for once, you know, I'm not gonna stick you with this amazing, um, rigid systematic pattern just fill the space intuitively don't overthink it once you get going then you just fill it as you as you like and then you'll begin to see where you need it and where you don't Nice. Now, I think I want to put a darker pattern in here. And if you want to add a thicker pen at any point, you can. So say I want to add uh, thick lines. I can whip out my bigger Sharpie. And say I'm going to do some uh, wider lines. You gotta be careful though, because once you use that little pen, you, you lose a lot of control of the um, pre precision with this big pen. But there's nothing to say that you can't fill it out with the uh, smaller one. And I'm gonna come back in here with my details. Clean up this edge a little bit. Okay, fun, fun. All right, let's see. So I've got some stripes here. I think I'm going to pull these stripes down into here or some similar stripes. So this time I'm going to do it um, where I'm going to do one, two, three close together, and one. One, two, Three close together and one. One, two, three close together and one. Do so you see how it's very rhythmic, very peaceful? You're repeating in my mind, almost like a mantra, you know? I'm going to spin it. Now these choices I'm making, there's really no right or no wrong. One, two, three close together, and one. Now, a lot of people don't like to listen to peaceful music, but when I'm feeling agitated, oh my, I found that, you know, a little aromatherapy, a little peaceful music, a little mindful drawing can really reset your mind, especially if you're having trouble with homework or something like that. Just come try this for a minute. 
and then you can get back to it later. All right, I think I'm going to turn this one into like a contour line. So I'm going to make it look like it's round. So in other words, I'm drawing the lines as if this was a round object. Now I think I'm going to color some of these in. Very easy to forget your problems. The only problem I have right now is filling in, in each of these areas. Okay. I think this needs a, another line just because it looks kind of lonely there. All right. And I think I am going to end with polka dots because I really like polka dots. I'm going to do big fat ones. So... I'm going to draw a circle, and I'm, going to, and I'm going to bring my circle straight up. And then I'm going to put one in between, like offset it, in other words, and then go straight up. Now, I could leave it like that, or I can color it in, or I could actually color in the background, which, you know what, I think this one might do, because I don't have that much dark in my um, thing, and I, I think it might look good, so let's give it a try. Notice I'm trying to eliminate the white completely. The point being to pay close attention to what you're doing.
all finished. I hope you enjoyed doing our Zen doodles with me today. And remember to relax and stay in the moment.